दी डायमंड सूत्र मेडिटेशन ब्रिंग्स इनर क्लैरिटी वाई दिस इनर क्लैरिटी इज नीडेड डीप विद इन ईच वन ऑफ अस देर इज क्योस देर इज डिस्टर्बेंस देर इज लैक ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग यू डू नॉट गेट द क्लियर विशन of the things as is come because of all these things there is lack of clarity the process begins when the light comes and illumines it is something like this your laptop is dead it has the connection but that switch has not been turned on and you have forgotten how to turn on that switch how to turn on that switch somebody reminds you how to turn on that switch you have turned on the switch then again you cannot get the live broadcast you still look for something why it is not i have turned on the switch but why it is not happening then again someone reminds you that you have to connect to your wifi or your system wifi can be understood like intuition or tawachu or the energy field of the master it is not visible you cannot see it but it is there it is there like a wifi you have to know the technique of connecting to it so you have connected that still you are not getting the program still you are not hearing the live broadcast then you have to find tuning to the live broadcast that is taking place when all these three things your laptop is turned on your wifi is connected you have searched the fine tune the program you start hearing it then you say yes now i can hear it meditation happens something like that now with all these things happening someone reminds you of the process you understand it clearly so when meditation happens so you understand what in fact meditation is or it does tremendous clarity comes in a little hint has made you connect to the, connect to this broadcast that is happening live in the same way existence is celebrating and broadcasting on a moment to moment basis the celebration never stops just as the broadcast from the radio station or the television station never stops only when you have time and all for whatever program you want to tune in you tune in but does that mean that the program that the broadcast is not taking place 24 hours the broadcast is taking place you look at it every morning flowers blossom in myriad colors before the leaves turn gold new shoots start 
New branches start showing their way. The birds begin to wake up. You look at all around, there is carnival, there is celebration. The butterflies, the flowers blossom in myriad colors. But you want to celebrate the things in a particular way. Why not flow with the existence and join the celebration that is taking place? When meditation begins to happen, this clarity comes in. Otherwise you go on stumbling in dark for long, beyond mind. Meditation brings the vision of clarity. Mind is confusion, mind is noise. Thoughts are the contents of the mind. It creates dark clouds. Thoughts create dark clouds. It declouds your vision. Subtle dark clouds in the midst of confusion, clarity is lost. When thoughts disappear, clouds are no more. You are in a state of beingness. Clarity comes, clarity happens. It is like a musician playing with the the strings of the instrument. He creates a note, then he drops, creates the silence, the peak and valley. A proper balance of peak and valley becomes a rag, a musical note. And there are musical notes for each time, each occasion. In the same way, the words are chosen, the gaps are created, so that you can start falling within your inner space. You can get connected to your inner space and you realize that something is happening, you start getting the clarity, you can see far beyond the mist of clouds to the other end of the existence with meditation happening you gain a penetrating gaze a gaze that reaches to the very core of the being indeed meditation is utmost clarity nothing can be thought about it only you can go into the experience of it. Now when a noise like this happens, you get upset. Because you are meditating, everyone else has to cooperate in your meditation. But when clarity comes, You understand the thing, this person whose microphone is open or the disturbance is coming is not doing it purposely. Something he or she is not able to understand clearly and that is causing the disturbance. When clarity comes, you can see the cause of everything happening. Why is this person behaving in this particular manner? As this live broadcast is happening simultaneously through Facebook streaming and via Skype also, you hear time to time the noise comes in. What do I have to do? Should I get upset with that? I make the request because I cannot check your microphone 
I can only point out to you and arrive at a situation that it does not affect. When a do dog barks, let him do his sermon because when you are creating a particular kind of a milieu, everyone around you begins to follow. When you are doing your religious rituals or ceremonies, your children start following. They start see the parents doing the things, you become a model for them. So what happens when I am meditating, the dogs know they start their own sermon, but they give their sermon in their own way. You know a story of a dog guru, he was a dog guru and his purpose was to visit the whole city and by nature dogs bark. That is their nature and they do not do anything else other than barking. So when you go everywhere you find the dogs barking, he used to give this one. Friends, devotees, it is not good to bark. We must be meditative, we must meditate. The scriptures say, the masters say, so you should stop barking. How many people imitate dogs and start barking for no reason? When the, the dogs saw the master coming in, they will stop barking. And throughout the whole city he keeps on visiting from place to place and giving the sermon. One day it happened, it was do the dog guru's birthday. So all the dogs decided that today is the birthday of our great guru. So we should give him a surprise. And what a surprise dogs can give? He said, today we will not bark. Today we will not bark and we will give him a surprise. Now, as usual in the night, the dog guru came out. To his utter surprise, there was no barking. He went from place to place, but there was no barking. Now, what will he do? The energy is that was being spent in teaching the message that one should not bark now is not getting to be expressed. When you do not get the opportunity to express your anger or things like these that come by way of lack of understanding or darkness within or conditionings, they keep on accumulating within. Even when it is not needed, the surface. This forms the unconscious and subconscious layers within you. Sometimes even when a particular circumstance or situation has not called for your response in a particular way, but it does happen. Then you realize that I did not mean that and you send an apology, but it is of no use. It is of no use running behind the train when it has already left the station. So the dog guru was very upset. He is boiling within to give the sermon. The energy want to express itself. But what can he do? Nobody is barking, so he cannot give a sermon. So there was an intense desire which he had suppressed for many, many years to go and start barking. So what he did, 
He went in the remote corner, hid his face in some hole and started barking so that the energy could come out, express itself. As the dog guru started barking, all the dogs started barking. There was a whole carnival of dogs barking. Such is the situation of man. When meditation begins to happen, there comes a clarity. And in that, you do not bother no disturbance. If this disturbance that is keep on surfacing again and again, for whatever reason that I know it not, why this particular computer of a person is behaving in this manner, I do not know. All I know, should I react to this or understand it? This is in my hand. And that is what meditation teaches you. You have no control over the other. You have no control over the circumstance and situation when they happen. But certainly, meditation brings a clarity. It brings an understanding and it gives you a wisdom not to react to a particular circumstance and situation. Instead understand it and then you will notice that their process of transformation begins in you. For this there is no need for any scriptures, you need not chant your mantras, you need not chant your scriptures or search the meaning how to remove the anger in your scriptures or go to anger management. You can simply understand. I could get angry with this, which is normal. You are having a live broadcast and that disturbance is coming in between. Would you not get angry? And this is normal. But by getting angry, what am I going to get? The solution. I may yell at the people, but it is not going to give me anything. Then what is the purpose of my being meditative? The purpose is, let everything happen at its own, over which you have no control, but you are not reacting. And response is a different phenomenon Response comes with a deep understanding. Response comes with a deep understanding and that deep understanding comes through meditation. And then it brings utter emptiness. So nothing is remain as a residue in you. When this broadcast is finished, I know when we go into individual meditation session, the person will express his or her inability that she was not able or he was not able to do this and because of that the disturbance was coming in. That finished. That finished. So there is no need of talking about this. Why to talk of the moment for something which is not there? And in that day, allocated time that is given to you to enjoy the company at this moment, you are missing out. You are given only 10 minutes to spend your time with me, to listen to me, or whatsoever, but you are spending time in apology that this should not be or that, 
Let us not waste our life in all that pursuit which is not. Live in this moment. This is there. We can look into each other's eyes, hold hands, allow the energy to flow, feel this flow of energy and what it does within us. When you look at the flower, you connect to the flower, something starts blossoming deep within you as well. But if you start lamenting over the thorns or seeing the other things, you will miss the opportunity of being the flower. Being one with the flower. When sunrise is there, be one with sunrise. There is no need at that moment to look into your scriptures, to remember what happens when you are going into a process that will bring about transformation into you. Then nothing is remaining in you as a residue, but for humans. Inner emptiness has been condemned. It is said emptiness is the way of devil, but emptiness is unique. The inner emptiness, the inner, inner space. It is a beauty. Imagine the fool who continues to propagate an empty mind acts as a devil's workshop. Imagine the fool who continues to propagate that an empty mind acts as a devil's workshop. Remember, an empty mind is the mystery of the unknown. You change that statement. Maybe those who are calligraphists, they can write in a beautiful handwriting. Empty mind is the mystery of the unknown. Live with it. Cherish it. It is the workshop of God. An occupied mind is a devil's workshop. An occupied mind is devil's workshop. Empty mind is the mystery of the unknown. It is the workshop of God. For your mind to be God's workshop requires it truly empty state. Just being lazy or not doing anything implies that you are empty while millions of thought go on breathing within. You may remain lazy outwardly but inside much is going on. I am talking about not outer laziness. I am giving you a new concept, new inner laziness. When you are lazy, you are not doing anything. You are just lying down or whatsoever it is. But inner laziness means you are not allowing any thoughts to happen. No disturbance, nothing to happen within. You remain lazy outward, but inside a lot goes on. Many boundaries are being created as something new, but you are becoming lazy in the inwards. This inner emptiness comes and it becomes your nature. Emptiness leads to freedom. Sometimes when you are on the seashore or seeing the sun setting, oh, you are under the full moon night. You forget all your desires, lust, etc. The moment that is so overwhelming that you forget about everything. In that very moment, past vanishes. Future is no more. Only this very moment remains. This 
very moment of the universe, the present moment is part of eternity. It's so vast that its vastness cannot be encompassed within boundaries. Indeed, in this moment, all distinctions of the observer, observed, and observation dissolve into one another. There is oneness. The observer is the observed, and you are not separate from the sunset, or the moonlight, or the ocean. You are being one with sunset. How can you be one with the sunset? Sun is sit setting, appears to be setting. It is being disappearing from your vision. Something like this should begin deep within. It's time to rest. Time to rest. Let's go to our inner cave. Or when it is moonlight. Moonlight is the time of rejoicing. Krishna danced with milkmaids on the bank of the blue river under the full moonlight or the ocean. A wave comes in. Actually the wave does not come it, because of the movement of the air wave rises and falls right there where it is. It does not move. A thought arises like a wave and disappears right then and there. Suddenly you are a bridge, you connect to this. In such communion, a new dawn appears, a new clarity comes in. As things become clear, joy springs forth. But you are now in a black hole. This happens in the process of transformation. When you come into the state of clearing, clearing, you need courage to remain in the empty sky. And that empty sky is your austerity or the process during which you are put into a certain program, austerities and it takes tremendous courage. When you are asked to go into a particular meditation program, it requires a lot of courage. It means you are fed up with your old pattern of life. You are ready to take a jump into the unknown realm. You do not want to remain the same. You do not want to escape. Instead now you are in the process of clearing up all that you have accumulated. You can see the vast sky getting unclouded. You can listen slowly and slowly as the inner clarity comes, the songs of the birds, you are now tuning, attuning more and more with this emptiness and the state of bliss that is happening. In a way it is emptiness, but in another way it is full of something subtle that you cannot see. Something you were never aware of before. Something you have never tasted before. 
as a result in the first instance, it seems emptiness. You become afraid of the emptiness, you run out. In the end you realize that there is fullness, there is something subtle. You are full of peace, full of serenity, full of light, full of silence. A silence that is dancing, a light that is generating, that is coming from no source. No one has lit this light, yet still there is a glow. And in that light everything becomes illumined. Your thoughts, your emotions, Everything, your organs of perception, organs of actions, they become illumined. They do not behave in the same old pattern. Instead, they bring a new clarity. In the beginning, you find this emptiness to be nothing. But in the end you will realize its true nature, full of serenity, full of silence. When meditation happens, you attain clarity and as the clarity comes, something else happens. And that which happens, that a new intelligence which is beyond the know, begins to penetrate into you. You develop faculties like intuition. You can reach into the inner core of your mind. You can visualize the motives behind each action of not only yours, but others as well. Before you begin to do anything, always remember to look for the motive. Just as in the beginning of the program, everyone is trying to set their system on to connect via Skype. Everyone is using their own system to connect. There is a microphone and there is a speaker. I am using my microphone so that the analog voice is converted into digital and reaches you. And then your speaker converts the digital into analog for it to reach your ears. If a disturbance is feeding from some source, what is the motive behind it? What is the motive behind the dog barking? What is the motive behind the car buzzing off on the street? Or someone playing a blaring music in his car? But this is the way they are. And if you react, that means there is no difference in you and that person. You are at least going through the process of meditation and that person does not have an opportunity. There got to be a difference between the way of expression. Then you can see, visualize the motive behind each action and each happening. Not only yours but that of others as well. And before you begin to do anything, always remember to look for the motive. If you look, if you miss the intention behind the actions or thoughts, the mind will fool you. The mind will convince you of the intentions so that you do not come up out of it. Mind always wants. Let me 
explain this with an, with an example. Do you have some incident in your workplace and that has fueled anger in you? Probably for some reason you had to tolerate the anger of your bosses. You cannot re react. Otherwise, you will create a, situ a problem for you. You reach home. You reach home full of those thoughts of anger. At home, your children are raising a noise. You try to tell them to be quiet. But children are children. They do not listen and continue making noise. You cannot control anymore all your, all your anger which was waiting for an unconscious moment of expression. You take it out on the children. The matter was so trivial and there was no need for all this. But out of anger, you can go to any extent. You can beat them. The mind will convince that this action was necessary. That's why you did it. The mind says it was necessary. In fact, this was for their good. They have to learn to behave. It is necessary for them to obey the elders when they are told to do something you must do that this is rationalization the mind rationalizes but you fail to realize the very nature of children is to make noise or make mischief i recall i went by my one of the uncles. He was a lecturer in chemistry in the university. He has two sons. The younger one was very mischievous. So one day I told him, I said, and everybody gets angry with him when he makes mischief or noise. So I asked, one day I sat down with him, I said, why do you make so much of noise and mischief that nobody likes it? He said, bro, if children will not make noise, who you think will make the noise or mischief? The house will become like a graveyard. It is the children who have to make the noise and the disturbance, not the elders. It is natural. And his response was full of wisdom and I still recall that response that he gave me. If children do not make noise or do mischief, then who else you expect to do? It is part of their childhood. If you get angry, when the dogs bark at the night or mosquito bite you, Again, you do not realize that it is the nature of the dog to bark, mosquito to bite or hum. The entire existence is living in its nature. It is only the man who is not living in his nature. His nature is to understand the things and not try to rationalize the things according to his own understanding. You were angry. You wanted the anger to come out. You could not exhibit your anger with your boss. He was too strong in a position for you to get angry with him. It was risky economically it was risky and economically dangerous, so you needed the helpless one. You saw the helplessness in your children. They depend on you. 
they are too young to react. If they were earning members, they would say, hell with you. We are going our way. If you do not like us to make the noise in the night, we are leaving your house and going on our own. Children depend on you. They are too young to react. They cannot pay you the money, so you found the most suitable one to express your anger. Does it not happen like that? And where the child will take out the anger? She goes to her doll, picks up, pulls out the hands and the legs and she has to find the outlet. But this process continues. You express your anger on this one and the other one will find someone who is weaker than him and express the anger on to that source and this process continues. Somewhere or the other there has to come a discontinuity in that process and that is meditation.